Welcome back to another Xero video. In this one today, I'll show you how to build a 12 monthly report to compare your actual income and expenditure against budget. I'll show you how to build a report like this. It takes about five or six minutes to create, but once you've done it, you can reuse it anytime you want. You can see it's a big report. There are 36 columns of data. For each month, there's an actual figure, then a budgeted figure for the month and a percentage variance. You might only want the report to show three months or six months, that's up to you. But it's handy to have a report like this in your favorites because it helps you compare your income and expenditure against budget, potentially identify any errors where you may have miscoded some transactions, and it helps you monitor your cash flow better. So let's take a look. Go to accounting and reports. I'll start from the budget variance report. I'll use that as a basis to create my report. So this default report has this month's actuals compared to budget, and there's a variance and a variance percentage column. And there's the same information for the year to date as well. Now this is really useful stuff, but I want a report to show 12 months of actuals against budget. To edit the report, click Edit Layout. In this main area on the left, and let me just drag this over here. In this main area on the left, we can see a lot of information. We can see groups, we can see account codes, and we can see formulas. And the panel on the right hand side gives us a few details about each of those. And we've also got columns. So there's a date column here, a budget column, and we've got a couple of variance columns. And we've got similar information for the year to date. Now, for the report that I want to create today, I don't want any year to date figures. So I'm gonna select the columns I don't need and click the bin icon at the top, delete columns. And I've got two variance columns here, but I only want one variance column. So again, just remove the one you don't need. So I've got three columns, date, budget, and a variance percentage. And I want to create another 11 months worth of the same information, essentially. So I'm gonna copy this for November, for September, and so on. Now, before I do that, there's one really important setting that I want to show you. So if I click on date, notice the date range. It says following report date range. So we're currently in December. So this month is December. But next month, if I run this report, I want that column to say January. So it's really important that we use following date range. If I change this to be months, that column will always be December, and that's not what I want. So I want to, show, I want to ensure that all my date and all my budget columns say follow report date range. And you'll see it's the same thing for the overall budget. It is following report date range. The variance is the December actual less the December overall budget and we're showing this as a variance percentage. So I'm gonna create the same information, this time for November. So click on columns at the top to add columns. You can add a variety of different columns. I'm gonna add a date column. And use this little back arrow. So we're showing this as November, so it's last month. And importantly, make sure the date range says following report date range, and we'll add a budget column. And I'll add a variance column. So the variance is November actual. Um, this should say November budget, so the vet variance is November actual less November budget, and we want to display this as a variance percentage. 
I'll add this for one more month and then I'll fast forward the video so I don't waste your time. So three more columns. Let's add a date. October. Let's add a budget. October. Follow report date range. And we'll add a variance. October actual less October budget and show it as a percentage. So now let's fast forward the video. So now I've got 12 months showing actual budget and variance percentage. Click the preview panel if you want to preview this report, but it is a very long report. So we may need just to drag this out a little bit and zoom in. So really handy, you can preview the report as you're building it, so you don't need to click Update Layout to go back to the report screen just to preview it. But I'm pretty happy, I've got all the columns that I need, so I will click Update Layout to return to the report screen. And here's our report. If you want to export the report, click Export and Export a PDF. So the report is now done. Make sure you save it as a custom report so you can use it again anytime. To save a report as a custom, click Save As and Custom. Give it a name. I'm just going to call this 12 Months Budget Variance. I don't want to make this the default report, but I will save this. And great, that is now a custom report. You can view your custom reports anytime. If you go to reports and click the custom tab at the top, but really good idea to make this a favorite so you can access it and run it again at any time much, much quicker. So click the star and that makes it appear in your accounting dropdown. And so you can see here, I've got 36 columns of data showing. So a very big, long report. And if I run this next month, that first column will be January. The second three columns will be December. So was this useful? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to know what you think. And do you know how to set up budgets in Xero? If you don't, check out this video and it will take you through setting up budgets using the Budget Manager in Xero. Thanks for watching.